It is about to be Halloween weekend, and guess what? A lot of you are probably gonna get ghosted. Not because it's Halloween, but just because that's the nature of life and how dating is a lot of times in 2024, moving forward into however many years we live on this earth. First off, I'd like to apologize for the microphones that are not set up yet, but I'm in my new spot in Miami, and this is something that I've been thinking about talking about. I've been ghosted a bunch of times. I think I'm impervious to it now, but when it first happened to me, it really, really hurt because ghosting is so unfair it's like you're talking to this person everything is good and then boom out of nowhere they have the audacity they have the nerve they have the ability to neglect you to a level where they can just drop you and that that hurts that hurts our ego that hurts our pride and obviously it hurts the idea of the connection that we could have potentially had with them ghosting is only painful because you have psychologically created expectations of what this relationship can be so this used to be me all the time. I used to see a girl and I used to imagine a life with her. I used to be like, oh my God, we're gonna look like this. I'm gonna show her to my friend. And this is like legitimately how I thought when I was in college. When I was a young guy, I was a dreamer. I still am a dreamer. But when it came to relationships and women, I would look at women and just imagine a lifestyle with them. And then I would talk to them and it would just amplify and reinforce that. So then when a girl didn't hit me back up or she got busy or I wasn't worth her time, it really broke my heart. And that's because of the expectations I created. So the first rule of preventing any pain from ghosting itself is learning how to manage your expectations. People get busy, people are not obligated to respond to you, and people don't need to give you closure. Closure in itself is just not talking to the person and understanding that they're not making an effort to explain something to you. So you don't need to get a response from them. You don't need them to talk to you. Just understand that fundamentally. You are in pain when someone ghosts you because they may have said something and you may have lashed onto their words. Maybe they have done something, their actions, they have you know, maybe gotten you flowers, they've been nice, you've gone on a date, and now you believe that it should be something. But the reality is, unless there's a hard commitment, unless you have seen their habits, you cannot expect anything from them. Let me tell you something. People's words don't mean shit. People's actions still don't mean anything. It's their habits that you have to look at. Because even actions can be lies. People can do things for you, shake your hand, dap you up, you know, pay for a drink at a bar, take you on a date, and still not genuinely like you as an individual. They may want to sleep with you. They may want to get access to your energy. It may not actually be what you think it is. So the first thing is manage your expectations. The second thing I want you to understand about ghosting in itself is that nobody is obligated to respond to you. And unfortunately, a lot of people will not feel like they need to. It's very easy to walk away from something that you don't necessarily like. It's very easy to hang up the phone. I, you know, in sales, you know, it's harder to sell somebody over the phone than in person. And the reason why is because people can click. They can remove you from their life. They can exit out of the window. You know, that's, that's the world we live in, this digital world where if we don't like something, we, we click out of it. We remove the app, we delete it, it it's just gone. And unfortunately, that's how people view people sometimes, especially people in large cities that have access to thousands of people. In today's world with social media, the internet and dating apps, we can see an endless amount of partners wherever we are, all over the world. So it's very easy for us to just push someone away, block them, and in theory, they never have access to us for the rest of our lives. So ghosting is very easy to do and it's becoming more and more common and the reality is if someone were to ghost me I wouldn't necessarily even be mad at them because you could do it you don't owe me anything I'm not anybody that you're obligated to talk to that's the mindset you need to have if someone is choosing to talk to you if someone is habituated to talk to you if someone is continuously communicating with you then it's something that you build a habit for both of you mutualistically real relationships don't have actual rules and hard set like ideals you know i talk a lot about like this should be this way or this should be that way that's a generalistic rule but in the reality of life it's all a spectrum and people's communication can vary i'm someone that isn't great at communicating all the time because i work all the time at night and in the early morning you can typically get me but some people may feel like because i don't talk to them for a day or i'm very busy and i'm ghosting them and the reality is i'm just busy so i understand it from another perspective where somebody can get busy for a certain amount of time and not respond but generally speaking ghosting it pisses a lot of people off People feel hurt, feel broken, and it's because you are creating this expectation of this person to be your partner, to talk to you, and you're basically creating an obligation in your head that they don't have to fulfill. You are giving them a job that they have not signed up for. You are creating a role for them in your mind that they don't, in any way, shape, or form, have to abide to.
And the reality is, even if someone is married, even if someone is dating you, they can still ghost you in theory. The mindset you need to have is that you're always gonna be good by yourself in terms of the communication. You should always rely on people, you should always be dependent, but if someone doesn't wanna to talk to you, why would you waste your effort? Why would you waste your energy wanting someone to reach out that isn't necessarily communicating? If I'm talking to somebody and they're not reciprocating with me, they're not talking to me, they're not checking in on me, I immediately get repulsed. That's the healthy thing to do. Why would I put my energy, my time, my effort, my, my enthusiasm into a relationship that isn't giving me attention, that isn't giving me what I need and what I put into it? You guys, a lot of times, need to get a little stronger, a little bit more mentally tough because someone ain't talking to you, let them go, walk away. Who cares? Let them talk to whoever because the reality is they're probably gonna ghost them as well. I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time here with me today. If you guys haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube, like the video, and I will see you next time. Sue me, out.